Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a quick DIY video on my tassel would-be garland. You're gonna need twine or string or yarn, beads. I had already painted these beforehand and then you're just gonna need some scissors. I used 16 of each color of bead. Um, you can do less or more, however many you want. I'm taking the twine and I'm gonna hold part of it and then I'm just gonna wrap it around my fingers 20 times. Again, you can do it less or more, depending on how you want. And then you just keep wrapping, hold it there, and then you're going to cut the string. Make sure you have that hole, and then you're gonna make a hole at the top, and you're gonna take another piece that I had already cut off earlier, and you're going to tie that around the top so that you have that hole. If that makes any sense. Just watch what I'm doing here. I'm just tying it like you would a shoe, crossing it, pulling it really tight, and I do that twice. Um, bear with me. It takes me a while because of my nails. They get in the way. But again, just pull it as tight as you can and then do it one more time and then cut the little tails off. So you're going to see me here taking the scissors, cutting the tails as close as I can to the knot so you can't see them. And then this is the fun part. You get to make your little tails. So you take the hole and then you take your scissors and you cut them. And if some are longer than others, you can just trim those up. But here is your little tassel. And then you still have that hole, which is what you're going to thread another piece of jute string through and just keep it on the spool for now but you are going to tie that three times and pulling it really really tight again so you loop it through there tie it off three times like you did before pulling it really tight as tight as you can I think I did it three times maybe twice yeah I did it twice but you can do it three times if you want then I trimmed that little tail off and then here you can measure or you can just eyeball how long you think the garland string you're going to need. I try to do as much as I can so that way I can make sure that the beads, that there's enough for all the beads. And now you're just going to uh, string your beads on. And I did a pattern of white, gray, black, white, gray, black all the way through. So I'm going to stop talking now and let you watch. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't record the whole time of me uh, stringing the beads on there. I thought you guys would just get the concept and be pretty bored watching me do that. And I made an extra tassel off camera uh, since I already showed you how to do it. So once you're done, you are going to loop your tassel as close to that last bead as you can get it. Now I did mess up a little bit and there is a gap because I didn't get it close enough to that last bead. but. Where I'm gonna be putting mine, it's gonna be on a th uh, three tier tray. You're not gonna be able to tell that I have a huge gap. So don't worry about it. It is a learning process still for me. I've only made a few of them. So I'm just turning the camera here so you can see what I'm talking about. I looped the uh, tassel on there and then I'm just straightening out the beads, making sure that they're tight. And like I said, I didn't, when you pull it through, when you're like doing the shoe part, like right here, I needed to move the tassel over more and make sure the little loop part was closer to that last bead and I didn't do it well enough. So like I said, I do have a gap, but again, you're not really going to tell because of where I'm going to hang it, like put it to decor. Um, 
this is a lot of fun for me. I enjoy making them. I do want to make one for my sister. Um, she probably would like this one because her house, like her kitchen is gray and like she doesn't really have much decor, but, um, the easiest way to paint your beads, I didn't do that on camera because like I said, I made this tassel a while ago and I didn't like the, I used white yarn instead of this jute twine and I didn't like the tassels. Um, so that's why I just took it off, but I put about six or seven beads on a skewer and then I lay it on the top of a container and then I just paint the beads that way and then make sure that way you're not holding them and you're not getting your fingerprints all over them. I've heard people say that they put them in a Ziploc bag and dump paint in there, but to me that's wasteful. I think you waste a lot of paint that way. Um, but that's what I use skewers for. I you know, put six or seven beads on one skewer, lay it on the container, making sure that the beads aren't touching. And then I just paint them and I turn them around and, and I let them dry that way. It's just an easy way to do it. So like I said, do any color you want. You can do less beads if you want. You can do more if you want. Same thing with your tassels. You can loop it more if you want more. Um, just the lady that I saw do a video of it, she looped it 20 times and I just followed her and I like the way that it looks. So... Here you can see I messed up. Um, I ended up taking the tassel off and moving it closer and I still messed up. But like I said, you're not going to be able to tell. It still looks really good and it's a really fun project. You can do them with kids. The painting part would be fun because they're on a skewer and they're not touching it and they turn out really cute. They'll look really nice on tiered trays or a mantle. Or even you can use these for your Christmas tree if you want. But I chose white, gray, and black for like buffalo check. And the twine I got at Dollar Tree and it is brown. But it looks black. So here you go. And this is what it looks like, you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's complete. I love it. I love the color. You can leave it out year round. So if you guys decide to make it, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.